Well, so player safety is utmost in really any rules change or, or in, in really anything around the game right now. Uh, I think we've made great progress with targeting. And, and the year we actually made it when you're guilty of a targeting foul, you're disqualified. And if it's in the second half, you have to not only disqualify for that game, miss the first half of the next game. It's really changed player behavior. And I'm actually seeing on video now where, you know, a receiver going across the middle, you had a uh, – you know, a free safety that was just going to drill him. Now they're they're lowering their target, or or sometimes unnecessary hits are pulling off altogether, so they don't risk targeting. So it's changing player behavior in a positive way. We didn't need those high hits. It's a great game. It's still a physical game, but this changing in player behavior is really helping the game to make it more safe, and it may save the game ultimately. Do you find that players are are leaving with their head less because of this rule? No, no question about it. I mean, we really talk about heads up tackling, see what you hit, lower your target, and wrap up. You know, wrap up tackling was a lost art, and now it's starting a, a new rebirth. And, uh, and, and so that's where we need to go. That's where we need to evolve it because if we don't, you know, we, we're learning more and more about concussions and the impact there. And, and, and if we can't get a handle on this, it could, it could eliminate our game. And I know that sounds dramatic, but uh, I think we're going the right path. I think we're going to stay the course, uh, continue to look at other areas of player safety uh, to make it a great physical game, but, but one that's more safe for the players. Some people are saying that, that there might be an intent factor that they'd like to see considered when, when seeing the targeting call. Uh, it, has there been any consideration as far as bringing that aspect into the play calling or to the, to the calling of that foul? Yeah, so we, we, it was a little tweak to the rule last year. And so it, it, it says now that if it's a defenseless player, it has to be forcible contact to the head or neck area. Intent is hard to judge. I mean, I, I don't need our officials to have to be mind readers, but if it's if it's incidental contact to the head, then we don't want that. But if it's forcible contact, and that's what we're looking at, that's something you can see whether intent is there or not, and uh, and and make the call that way. And then same thing with replay. You know, there's there's no way they can know the intent of that player, but they can evaluate whether it was forcible contact or incidental. Contact.